So here are the materials you need. So you're gonna need some plush yarn for the headband, acrylic yarn for the Hello Kitty bow, and then you're gonna need a headband, of course. I got my headband from Amazon in a pack, but or any other craft store. Scissors, stitch markers, darning needles, and then we're gonna use a 4.5 millimeter for the bow and a six millimeter hook for the earmuffs. And then if you're using felt for the eyes, you need a hot glue gun and felt. Yep. And I also forgot to add that you'll need stuffing as well for the earmuffs. So for these earmuffs, we're just gonna be single crocheting in a round and covering it up with the headband. So we're gonna start off with a magic circle and we're gonna do six single crochets in this magic circle. And this is optional, but I'm just gonna keep single crocheting around without a stitch marker, cause that would just slow us down. It really doesn't matter that we start off a certain way. We just keep single crocheting until we reach the length of our headband. And then just keep trying it on as you go until you're all the way at the end. So just keep single crocheting around until you reach the end. And then once you reach the length, it just slide it all on. Make sure you don't accidentally break your headband. Because I was kind of rough with it. But just try it on. Make sure it's fitting. And then we're going to finish that off. And then weave in the ends. Now let's get started on the earmuffs. You're gonna be making two of these. So for the earmuffs, we're gonna chain eight. So once we finish our eight chains, we're gonna single crochet in the second chain from the hook, as you can see in the video. And then a single crochet here, and then we're gonna put a stitch marker there so we know that's our first round. And then we're just gonna single crochet down rest of the chain, and then in the last stitch, we're gonna do three single crochets. So now we're gonna be single crochet on the other side of the chain and then in the last stitch we're gonna do three single crochets. In round two, we're gonna repeat the same steps from round one. So we're gonna single crochet down the chain. And then at the end, we're gonna do three single crochets and then single crochet down the chain again and then three single crochets in the last stitch. For rounds three through five, we're just gonna single crochet all around. So we're gonna be single crocheting for three rounds in total. And I will meet you guys when we're at round six. For round six, we're gonna be doing two decreases on the side of our ears. So first you can just single crochet until you reach the side. And 
and then now we're gonna do our two decreases right here I'm doing an invisible decrease So we're going to single crochet until we reach the last four stitches of the round and then we're going to do two decreases in these stitches. Now we're all done with that earmuff. Leave a very long tail and then finish off. Now let's start our bow. For the bow, we're gonna be using a 4.5 millimeter hook. We're gonna start off with a magic circle and do six single crochets. We're gonna slip stitch and then do two chains. And then in one stitch, we're gonna have two double crochets. And then the next stitch, we're gonna have two double crochets in one stitch. And then we're gonna repeat this two times and then slip stitch. So we're going to leave a long tail to wrap around the center and for sewing. And then I'm just going to weave in this little end so it's out of my way. So now we're going to wrap the tail around the bow. You can wrap it as many times as you like. It's your preference, but I wrap it around a couple times. And then we're gonna secure that wrap by like weaving in the yarn under a couple times and then just knotting it so it doesn't unravel while we're sewing the bow on. So to get the right placement of where you want your earmuffs to be, I would try the headband on and get your ears and put them on and see where you wanna sew the ears on. And then you can use stitch markers to hold the place if you like me i just i just went by whatever whatever helps you i recommend stitch markers stitch markers is your best friend when you're keeping place of things so sewing them on you can have them higher lower as you can see you can put it in deeper or put it in shallower i don't <laughs> i don't know just put it up higher the way you want it the way that fits you and just keep the place in and then we're just gonna stuff it I should have did that first. Stuff the ears, of course. Figure out your placement. You're just gonna stuff the ears, get your darning needle ready so it doesn't move. And then just put it where you want it, if you want it deeper or higher up. I recommend you just watch this part of how I sew it because I really don't know how to explain it. So just watch this video, watch this part of the video to know how to sew it the way I sew it. So I sewed the sides and then I grabbed the headband and sewed the headband to the earmuffs in the front and then sewed the sides and then flip it to the back and repeat the same thing. So make sure you're sewing the headband to the ears as well so it doesn't move up and down or your earmuff doesn't accidentally fall out.
sorry for the way I recorded this, but the headband was like in the way of me showing how to do it. So basically you just do what you did in the front. Sew the headband to the ear. And you can see, make sure you sew that part. Make sure you sew up any little extra holes there. And then this is optional, but I like sewed like an ear shape, as you can see in the video. Like I did this with my um, Hello Kitty Cat Mini. There's a tutorial somewhere on my TikTok. So basically I just sewed back and forth like an ear triangle shape just to get the little ear shape. It's optional. You don't really need to. It doesn't really do much even if you don't do it it still will look like hello kitty but i just do this part just to make the ears pop a little bit out so once you do that if you did that just weave in your ends and do all that and then just repeat the steps for the second ear and make sure it's lined up the same So yeah, just make sure it's lined up the same and not like different heights or it's going to be uneven, but either way, yeah. So now we're going to sew the bow on the ear. You can put it on either side. I always do the right side. Now for the face, I use felt or you can embroider your face on. I just think the felt is more easier and simpler and cleaner. So I cut out my eyes and my nose. And I did not make whiskers for this one. I just, I kind of forgot and then I was like, oh, it's cute without them. She, she don't need whiskers today. It's okay. She should be okay. So now your Hello Kitty earmuffs are finished. Look at them, they're so cozy and warm. And then yeah, I've used plush yarn so it can be soft and kind of keep you warm, you know? If you make these earmuffs and you post them, please be sure to tag me so I can see them. And thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you understood it well. If I didn't, leave some more tips in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.